What's going on, everybody? Today we are going to play <clears throat> some Black White Rats in Pioneer. I don't know any better name for this deck. We have four Burglar Rats and four Pack Rats. Oh, God, we just removed a Pack Rat. Oh, God, we just added three Pack Rats. I don't know what's going on right now. There's a Pack Rat. Pack Rat, Pack Rat, Pack Rat. Why do I have this many Pack Rats? <clears throat> okay, we did it. Aurora Spotted. Thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate you. <clears throat> Our removal is interesting. In addition to four Fatal Push, we also have one Deck in Stone, one Cast Down, and one Liliana's Triumph. All pretty random. What up, Mediocre Magic Man? My dude. Uh, interestingly enough, Burglar Rat, Sin Collector, and Thought Seize are all good for dis disrupting their hand. We also have Chupacabra as removal. We have Liliana Death's Majesty. This is a Liliana I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, plus one to create a zombie token, but also milling yourself for two doesn't seem super relevant. But I think you just might be want to reanimate things, like you can reanimate Chupacabra or Seraph or Sin Collector. We also have one Anguished on making, so a really weird removal package. <clears throat> Which I don't think we can, like, search for or anything. We just have to, like, randomly draw these these one-ofs. Oh, what up, what up, Chan-Chan? Uh, one Obsidat is also pretty sweet, and one Soren is pretty sweet, as these are two of my favorite uh, black-white mythic gentle gentlemen, gentle people. So, you know, that's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, we're going to try this deck out. 25 lands is a lot, but you guess you want lands for pack rats. Three Read the Bones, three Murderous Rider, also removal. <clears throat> we also have three Murderous Rider and two Chupacabra if we want to, like, keep all the removal in one place, which is nine total, 13 total removal spells. And we have two Disenchant in the sideboard, a card I'm a huge fan of. Two Rest in Peace, two Avon Mind Sensor, which is interesting. I don't know how much searching is going on in Pioneer, especially without fetch lands, but seems fine. Faded MTG, what's going on, my dude? <clears throat> Good seeing you. Two Noxious Grasp, two Cry of the Carnarium, one Liliana, one more Sin Collector, and one Blood Baron, which, as you guys might know, I am a huge fan of. So let's see how this bad boy does. Uh, two. And you guys might notice that I believe I updated the stream decker for the first time in ages, so. That's kind of cool, you know? <coughs> I would have thought this deck would have the guy that gives rats menace. That's where you'd be wrong. Pipers of the swarm. Bang, 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 bang. Guys, I upgraded my Apple AirPods, so I'm going to sell these these Apple AirPods that I have now. So, if anybody wants them, let me know. Let me know. You can let me know. Hit me up. Work great. All right, so one land, huh? Probably not. Did you end up getting that donation? Uh, I did. <clears throat> I did, Faded MTG. I actually meant to respond to you, too. I apologize for not getting back to you. I'm so sorry, dude. Yeah, I meant to reply to your email. Um, I forgot because I'm an idiot, and I did get it. Mulligan this hand. I will keep this bad boy. Turn to Burglar Rat? Two removal spells? We can't even lose. <coughs> I have a set of AirPods. Why did you put it in quotes there? Menace is okay with second rats to steal stuff. That's true, especially with Burglar Rats. I wonder why there aren't. As you guys know, you guys are probably going to be in... I, I love it when the YouTube comments are like, why don't you have this card in the deck? And I'm like, well, because it's not my deck. Like, I didn't build the deck. Um, let's get rid of Godless Shrine. This lets us play things on turn two without taking damage. I don't think we need three black for anything, so. Uh-oh, look at this little guy. Look at this little gentleman. I'm just going to play Burglar right here. Now, smallpox smallpox always got on my nerves <clears throat> and the reason being i never wanted to sack my own things i never wanted to get rid of a creature a land and a, I, I felt like i was always just as far behind as they were yeah but you tweak them so consider tweaking that on in there <laughs> consider tweaking that on in there solid solid point this is a solid point you're making one of my students took a broken pair of regular Reg a broken pair of regular pair of headphones and cut the cords off of them and was pretending to sell oh wow no see these are legit airpods look 
You got this satisfying, there's this real satisfying. And then they just come out and look their little AirPods. And like the magnets are super satisfying. So, yeah, they're real. <clears throat> you think I'd mess around with some AirPods? <laughs> Crazy. So if we if we play <clears throat> Goblet Shrine, we take two from that, two from this, and two from the Fatal Push to kill this guy. So we go to 13. We take six damage just to kill this Eidolon. That seems bad. <clears throat> oh, I also have the box and everything. Like, look at that. The actual AirPod box from Apple. Yeah, beautiful. So that's how you know it's real. Mm -hmm. Although, having the Shambling event is pretty good in terms of <clears throat> getting back in the game. See, every time I try to not be Apple's biggest fan, I always use an Apple product and I'm like, this is just solid. Like, actually, why well, I needed a laptop years ago and I bought a MacBook just because, well, they're very well built. And as far as specs go, like, they have some of the best hardware specs that, uh, that you could ask for on a laptop. For the size profile. Like, I was looking for a small laptop that weighed under a certain amount of pounds. Uh, that had a certain resolution. And you're gonna kill my rat? I guess that's fine. We'll let you do it. This is a crazy, crazy use of a, a wild slash. Yeah, like I mean, like I have an Android phone right now. I have a Galaxy S9, <clears throat> and I use AirPods with it. So like, you know, that's how much I like. I mean, that's how much I'll vouch for Apple's quality. Like, I don't, I'm not an Apple fanboy by any means, but like every time I use an Apple product, my tablet is an iPad. Like, it's they're just top tier devices. <clears throat> wow, light up the stage, huh? Okay. Hmm. Let's see if they want to sack this guy first. They did not. Pyromancer, Wand Slash, Wizard's Lightning. Eh, I'll just take the Wizard's Lightning. That deals three damage. Actually, maybe I could have taken the Pyromancer because Thanks. it's two damage and a creature. That's probably better. Faded MTG, thank you so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Or welcome. Really appreciate you, my dude. Faded MTG, you are a solid gentleman. I think we're just gonna do the one magic stream, and then Mike, uh, Mike, and I should play some uh, some Fallen Fallen Order tonight. We didn't play it last night because Mike actually got a flat tire, and it took him like three hours for AAA to get there. Like he didn't get home until like 5 a.m., which is pretty insane. And last the night before that, he had mandatory overtime until like 4 a.m. So. Okay, so we know you have these two and this guy. Well, just one now. So ideally, this shambling vent can, uh, okay, yeah, that's something. I mean, if they want a two for one here and I'll gain two life, that's totally fine. Oh, uh, the funny thing is I actually did go to Wawa and I got him two donuts and a 44 ounce high C. So <clears throat> I actually did, uh, I did do him a solid. I didn't go pick him up though, because like he had to wait for his car. Like they can't get to his car if he's not there. Is this even worth casting? Like how many cards are they going to have that, that they wouldn't just cast in response to this? 
Probably none. I also think Thoughtseize can just come out in this matchup. Thought I might as well subscribe. First subscription ever. Faded MCG, dude. I really appreciate that. That is awesome to hear, man. Thank you so much, my dude. Okay. Um, If I could draw things that aren't lands, that'd be super cool. I would appreciate that. Okay. Well, I might just Thoughtseize now because they still have two cards. I doubt they're both lands. Field of Ruin. That's where they go. Three damage, two damage, two damage, one damage. Yep, there's there's three damage. And Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean I don't know. <clears throat> Maybe that was terrible. I don't know. Can I draw something that's not a land? Do I even want to kill anything? We go to two? That puts us dead to a lot. Yeah, I'm wishing I didn't thought seize because we'd be at six. So then I'd feel better about killing this guy. I don't know. What was I thinking they had? <clears throat> that, that was sorcery? I don't know. <clears throat> still feel like we're in great shape here not great but you know in terms of the board position like we're okay <clears throat> alright that's not bad still a land but you know not terrible I guess so they just go block any removal spell kills us alright well can we draw like Soren Grim Nemesis or Blood Baron or Obsidat that would be great Mutavolt. All right. Well, they have no cards in hand. Yikes. Still want those big drops. Any of the five drops would be great. Well, not activating that. <clears throat> Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have drawn ten lands, so that's pretty bad. And second idol on. Okay, that's a yikes for me, dog. Blood Baron. Sin Collector. Hmm. That would kill us. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. So block, we go block, block, block. We take three, gain two. I mean, as long as they don't draw a burn spell. Oh, they drew one. Okay. Well, unfortunately, you drew a uh, four spells before we draw. <laughs> sure. Oh, Blood Baron's not even in the main deck. We're bringing both those dudes in. Take out all of the Thought Seizes. Uh, Cry of the Carnarian can come in. That seems good. Liliana of the Last Hope seems good. Anguished Unmaking seems pretty rough. I don't think I care about Deck in Stone. Faded MTG, have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for the sub, man. Really appreciate you. I guess Deccan Stone's probably the best option. Actually, I guess Sync Collector is probably even better, right? Like, it gets a burn spot of their hand if it's early. It is Wednesday, my dudes. Is it? Is it Wednesday? <clears throat> I 
I mean, cards that seem great against them. These four. Okay. Well. I will keep this hand. Goblin Guide is not in this format, which is nice. All right. Guess we'll just drop a rat. Did you ever get Origin sorted out? No. No, I did not. So here's what happened. I was like, I'll just buy it on Steam. So I bought it on Steam and I was like, fuck it, I'll show them. Even though the money's obviously still going to EA, I was like, I'll show them. So what does Steam do? When you open the Steam version of Fallen Empire, Fallen Order, it just opens Origin. And then you gotta still have Origin. And I was like, fuck, I can't win. <clears throat> Oh, now I want a third land. Literally can't get a third land. Hmm, boy. Magic, you're a real scumbag. I might... Oh, God, I can't just play pack rats. Then I take two. Then I take another two, so I'm taking four. They probably kill the pack rats, so, like... Whatever, because if the problem is if we if we fatal push here and then we draw land, like <clears throat> it's very mana inefficient. Remember when you didn't want to draw lands? God, it feels like only yesterday. Yeah, no blocks. Yesterday. Drawing lands was such a thing to do. Now I'm at 13. I've played no cards. Oh, I believe. Hey, that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Hey, that's, that's pretty, pretty good. good. <clears throat> so. Guess we'll just make a 2 2 rat. Oh my god, that caught me out. It catches a lot of people off guard, surprisingly. I don't think it's too loud or anything. Wizards lightning the pack rat, sure. I mean, we're 100% blocking this idiot. One more land. <clears throat> Seraph of the Scales is pretty good with one more land. One time, one time, one time, one time. That's not a land, but ideally, we'll get something. I nearly spat my drink out. Perfect. Oh, Lightning Strike. Now you have Bomat Courier and Experimental Frenzy. Let's get rid of this idiot. Okay, so land. We, now you just have Boat Courier that you can play here. So now you have Experimental Frenzy, which is deadlier. This guy's got to be just worse, right? <clears throat> sure. How about a land? First game, draw eight lands. Second game, draw three lands. Okay. Clearly, very balanced. Oh my god. Land, 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 land. It's a card that's going to deal me two damage. If it was a land, we could have just played one of these two and been really good. Kill this guy, block this guy? Sure, that'd be great. 
<clears throat> so, is it fair to say that I lost this game due to lands and not due to any sort of strategic decisions? Is that fair to say? It feels like it is. I'm no expert, but... I guess I kind of am an expert. Do I want to play a pack route? Just take two? I guess I'll just lowly on try. If I'm taking two, I'd rather get an attacker off the board. I did not strategically draw the correct number of lands. That is a fair and balanced assessment. <laughs> I'm not half the man I used to be. <sighs> Yikes. We got a two here? Totally reasonable. Technically still not dead if we can hit a land. A land that comes into play untapped. So not a godless shrine or a shambling vent, right? Four drop. Fantastic. 25 lands. What's wrong with a four drop? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> I don't understand the randomness of these. Like, I feel like you want either some of them or none of them, right? I am going to add one Piper because I'm Maniac. And I think one is fine. Is Read the Bones the best option for us? I don't know if there's been better options printed. What's the instant one? So come to Temptation? <clears throat> Draw two, lose two, so you're not scrying. It is instant, though, which is interesting. I think I... Think I instead of that, I think I'd rather just have another cast down. I think I'll just take the... Declaration and stone out. Um, Forbidden Fruit's interesting. You don't scry. It is it is an option for sure. Uh, you have the option to target them with it, which is what about Sign and Blood? Is that an option? Is that a legal card? M10, M11, M13, M15. Okay. <clears throat> Is Sign and Blood better at two mana? Maybe. I think Sign and Blood might just be better. One mana for for removing the two scry should be fine. Just having another two drop to play seems really good. Plus you can target them, which is not nothing. Okay, let's try that. Why she had to go, I don't know, she wouldn't say. Adam, what's going on, my dude? <clears throat> I'm so sorry you had to be called out like that in your own home. In the man's own home. Ba -boom, boom, boom, boom. I also wonder, like, in the new Pioneer format, how many of these card choices are due to uh, people just not knowing, right? They're like, ooh, Read the Bones is good. I'm going to play two Read the Bones. And then they totally forget that that sign in blood is legal, you know. By a web comic of all things. Guys, come on, let's join this Pioneer queue. Let's get in here. Quit playing around. 
guys. Guys. <clears throat> Did you guys get a notification that I went live? Sometimes it sometimes it doesn't do it, and it's really sad. I feel like you did. Get in this thing. Sometimes people are like, "Why didn't you join? Why do you? Why don't you do leagues? Why do you do queues?" And I'm like, "Well, because we just made like a bunch of changes to this deck, and like I'm not like this is my final version of the deck, and I want to see how it performs against the field. You know, that's not the goal here. <clears throat> so I just want to be able to play this deck in like five different matches." Wow, that's really funny that you've been watching Mega Man X speedruns and I just did Mega Man music. That's actually kind of weird. That's creepy. Is that Mega Man music? They banned my standard deck, so I guess I'm building Pioneer with Okos and Heart of Kieran. Yeah, that's your only choice now. <coughs> Of course you played Pioneer in Standard. Of or uh, Oko in Standard. Of course you did. This is a surprising amount of time. So I want to pause it for you guys on YouTube. And then I'll unpause it when the match hit fires. And away we go. Guys, I got some new deodorant today. I got some Toms of Maine. Coconut lavender, anti... Oh, it says for women. Shit. Whatever. I'll wear it. I wore it in secret before. I don't care. <clears throat> Unpause. You won't. I totally did. Dang it. Alright, so let's... What flavor? Coconut... Coconut lavender. It smells friggin' amazing. <laughs> Bro, my girlfriend's the other is way better than mine. Yeah, like, <clears throat> I really don't care. Like, I really don't think there's a difference between <clears throat> male and female deodorants in terms of uh, content. So, I could care less, really. As long as it smells good. As long as Katie's fine with it. I think we're good to go. <clears throat> is it strong enough for manly men? Well, should be fine even if it's not, because I play Magic the Gathering for a living. <laughs> Girl deodorant is objectively better I'm a sweaty dude and I sweat that through guy stuff in like two hours but that secret dry stuff lasts all day dang that's good to hear man surprisingly the female deodorant tastes worse oh no my boyfriend tastes his armpit so he doesn't understand why I use deodorant huh <laughs> Huh. Do those go together, though? I feel like just because you shave your armpits, you should still understand why deodorant, like, is necessary, right? Yeah, the Clear Yeti is a little tilting. I got the, uh, I got the River Green. So it's like... <clears throat> so, yeah, it's, uh, it's very satisfying on, uh... On the screen. This is nice because it looks like I can't really attack into our rat. But it says woman on it. Touche. Touche. I licked a stick of deodorant once, mouth went numb. Huh. Oh. Oh, I like it. Let's go. Let's go mute vault here. Play another booger rat. Booger rat? You gonna counter this booger rat? Don't counter my... Don't you counter my rats. They've been... Mm. Oh, man. Well, the bright side... I don't think I don't think many people tried the Switch cartridge thing. Man, I'm actually... I'm really impressed by the... Uh, by the forward thinking here of of the, the the men trying women's deodorant in this chat like that is you guys have impressed me and i am a uh, grateful for it where the kisses are hers and hers and his gonna kill your wolf do 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 
What up, System 4200? Secret is top tier stink stick. All right. It's 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 strong enough for a man, but pH balanced for her, guys. Come and knock on my floor. Okay, so fascinating. Will we ever see a bargler rat? Dark bargain on a creature seems cute. Also, we can make it a nine three. Oh, I see. <clears throat> Because of Bar cause of Yargle. The Bargler rat. Piper of the Swarm. Oh, interesting. I was not expecting this. I did not expect that guy to resolve. Oh no, don't do a thing. You're gonna turn my Piper of the Swarm into a thing? Sure, so I'm gonna go kill this guy. All right, so you get to eat a rat, totally fine. Not as bad. Secret stick, it'll burn your pit. Will it though? <clears throat> also, New Vault's a rat, that's pretty sweet. Oh, I love a shambling vent. Gonna draw two cards every day. Oh, they just let me. They didn't even care. All right, try this guy. You gonna do it again? No, you're just gonna take one, okay. Four mana. Night Pack Ambusher. That's a good dude. That is a good dude. A solid gentleman, if you will. It'll burn your pits. The secret's out. What's your secret? We'll burn your pits. I want you to look at my rats, look at my rats, look at my rats. Care to look at my rats, look at my rats, look at my rats. Can we activate this, sack these three rats, and then steal this dude? <clears throat> that seems good, right? Uh, Activate it. One, two, three. Can I steal this guy? Oh no, you're gonna do a thing. Sure. Well, that's unfortunate. <clears throat> that seems bad. Guess they had to have specifically disallow. Shrug. Cool. Just mono counter spells. Yep. Fun times. Sin Collector. <clears throat> Liliana. Noxious Grasp. The Burglar Rats just don't seem that great here, unfortunately. I maybe should have just killed the guy on sight, but then they had a counterspell, right? So. Take out the Liliana. Maybe it's the Liliana's not great. It doesn't really kill anything. Hmm. Uh, I mean, like, it definitely wasn't a 
I don't think it was a punt necessarily. Thank but. you. Night hockey. Thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. <clears throat> I mean, it was a punt in the sense that we should have we should have done it the other way, but like I don't think it really. Did we draw? What did we draw? Godless shrine. Like so, we could have killed it. I don't know. I mean. Two cuts. I guess one Seraph. Thank you. A lot of removal. Yeah, one fatal push, I guess. Adam with the two with the gifted subs. Thank you so much, buddy. You are awesome, my dude. Thank you. Oh, uh, yeah. All right. Man, this one Piper of the Storm is like, I'm going to show you how good I am, dude. <clears throat> I will show you. Do we just pack rat and then just make pack rats for the rest of the game? Is this just a pack rat? Matchup. Alright, let's go to town. I guess we can actually just play Burglar Rat next turn. Nah, maybe not. Is Burglar Rat just better as a pack rat? Maybe. I don't know what, what their answer would be, what the blue-green deck would be able to do against mono pack rat dot deck. Sure. <laughs> well, fuck me, I guess. Fantastic. Guess that does it. <clears throat> wow. That's unbelievable. Jesus. One trickster. Oh, God. <clears throat> Way to go, Packrat. Way to go. Hmm. Let's pass because they're just going to play Hal Ambusher here. Never don't have that. Yep. <clears throat> well, that's never resolving. All right, that resolved. A little surprising. Sure. Brineborn, cutthroat. Wildborn, preserve. <clears throat> God, why do they just have so many cards in their hands every single game? Just this dude, huh? Uh, I'll take three. I'm actually a big fan of this deck. I think this deck is great. It's just an obnoxious. I keep two mana up, huh? Totally normal. Well, 
That's pretty decent. Let's play a pack rat. Three three and two two. Sure, that's fine. <clears throat> they usually don't have any too many counter spells. Usually they're just gonna be like tricksters or brineborn cutthroats or things. Okay, this is actually a really good turn. Yep, you can piece out of here. Wow, that went really well. So now they're gonna have a dude. Yep, that's fine. Yeah, being able to just straight up kill pack rats with Merfolk Trickster is pretty frustrating. Like, kind of unbelievably frustrating. All right, block you, block you. I guess also block you. I guess we'll take eight. <clears throat> sure. Yep, put the, oh, you're just gonna play a wolf. That's cool. Well, it's good to have two of things. draw a card, right? Sure. Let's go one, two, three. Activate you. Activate you. <coughs> so block here, jump block here. So trade a rat and a shambling vent to prevent five and kill a cutthroat. Seems fine. I mean, let's I mean I'm gonna I'm not gonna not cast a cast out. Cast down rather, so let's see if we can seven you. And of course we cannot. Ah, <sighs> boy. So they just play this guy next turn. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's really obnoxious. Is it even worth putting them to five here? Not really, because then Brazen Borrower kills us. Well, I guess we would block here. We still take five. Six, seven. <clears throat> so if you don't attack, does putting him to three mean anything? I don't think so. Next turn we can block here. We'll take five. They'll play Brazen Bar. We'll take seven. We'll go to four. They'll have a five, five, and a three, one, which means you can block. Or a seven, seven, and a three. Yeah, this is actually... I don't think attacking is going to win us the game here. Okay, sure. I don't even know why you're playing these. Oh, well. Yeah, sure, no blocks. Wow, you're not going to play Brazen Borrower to pump that? Oh, that's great for us. 
That's terrible for us. Oh, we don't actually have two black. Yep, or two uh, two white, so we should have field of ruined something. But I guess they just float a mana, and it's just pretty much worse for us. One, two, three, crack. And we have one, two, three, four mana. Yep, that's game. Can't even cast Obzid out there. Um, I kind of want another shambling vent in the deck. Like, I just feel like we don't have a lot of white sources, but Obsidat's our only, like, double white card. I don't know. Burglar Wrap might just be too cute. I'm not sure this deck is really, like... Double, double Urborg is also interesting. Whatever. It's funny, Piper of the Storm is actually good. Hold on one second. Two, two, two. Okay. <clears throat> Mono blue, what's going on? Um, yeah, I'll keep this hand. So we are we are 0-2 currently right now. Not thrilled. But it's good to test these decks out, because this deck did 5-0 a league. So that's important. How are they killing Packrat with Merfolk Trickster? Merfolk, or Packrat says, Packrat's power and toughness is equal to the number of rats you control. So when it removes that ability from the card, it's just it becomes just a 0-0. Zero, zero. With no, with no ability that's going to modify its power and toughness. So it just dies immediately. Which is insane that the deck has a built-in way to just deal with one of our main win conditions. I had not considered that, but I also feel like that's a pretty niche interaction that's only available in, this, in that particular matchup, so... I don't know. Thank Whatever. You. What are you going to do? So salty. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Tell Germany I said what's up, my dude. Good morning, my dude. It's early morning, Germany. Just wanted to say that I also appreciate your RPG. Thank you so much, dude. I'm really glad to hear it. I'm thrilled to hear it. I like hearing it. Look at this. This death rate Shaman is stronger than these burglar rats. Seder Wayfinder. I've kind of not been paying attention. Sorry. Whatever you were doing really sounded like you were brushing your teeth. I'm thinking that's a weird... What was I doing that was sound like I was brushing my teeth? That's weird. I have no idea what you could have been hearing. I guess brushing my teeth. Brushing my teeth is what I could have been doing. That would make it sound like I was brushing my teeth. I don't know. That's a good draw. That's a good draw. Do, 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 do. I guess we're gonna play another burgly boy. Oh, I was typing. I was typing. It was like this. Like that. So they actually didn't hit a land, which is interesting.
Well, they're doing a lot of graveyard nonsense, but... <laughs> Which is super calming. Thanks for the ASMR. I got you, buddy. I got you, fam. Also, like, against these dredge decks, like, we're just not putting on pressure fast enough, which is interesting. Like, I don't even want a Chupacabra, this guy. I also don't think they're going to have anything in their hand for Sin Collector. Also, Despair is really interesting. God, they also have, like, haunted, double haunted deads. I feel like we just kind of have to Chupacabra this guy. I just want to take their creatures off the board. I don't know if that's any good. But, like, we got to play something, right? Like, and the next turn, if we draw land, we can go Sin Collector and Sign and Blood, which is nice. They didn't do anything. Oh, what up, Super Fritz? Let's see if this does anything. I mean, I assume they're just going to discard their hand now and get a haunted dead back. Oh, we could have hit that creep and chill, boy. And two, two cursed amalgams, huh? Mm. Mm. Prized amalgam, not cursed amalgam. My bad. Oh, this is nice because we can kill one of their dudes. I don't know. I would not know if it said it's nice per se, but. Well, Gurmag Angler is a hell of a dude. I guess they're making us discard our sign and blood. Taking five. Sure. Why does every format like have all these miserable graveyard decks that are just not fun to play against? Can someone explain it? Can somebody explain the graveyard decks? Why do these creatures not have death touch? I think all creatures have should have death touch. The graveyard's a resource, that's true. I just think it's a shitty resource. Oh, alpha time. It's alpha time. Um, three, and block you, and block you, I guess. Take six, totally. 
totally reasonable amount of damage to take. Oh, a big choops? Get him. I mean, they just, next turn, they just go Haunted Dead, get another prize amalgam back, so. You know, that's cool. It's just impossible to, like, deal with these idiots. I guess we're just gonna bring in Rest in Peace and hope that our Rest in Peace does it. What's the deal with all these graveyard decks? I mean, they're buried in the ground. Why don't they stay there? What's the deal? Oh good, they hit a creeping chill when we're at six. Cool. Haunted dead. So, uh, so, okay, hold on. So the prized amalgam is going to come back and then it's going to trigger this other prized amalgam. So I might as well just leave it on the board, right? Yep. All right. Yep. That's, believe it or not, that's not going to do it. Okay. Okay. Rest in peace. Blood Baron of Viscopa is great here. Oh, God, do I even care about, like, fatal pushes? Not really. Disenchant doesn't do anything. Noxious Grasp doesn't do anything. Cry the Carnarium's... Okay, I guess? I don't even know. God, Burglar Rat just seems terrible. Like, I just don't want them to put cards in their graveyard. I guess I'll just bring in two Fatal Push. But then again, Thoughtseize is also bad in that situation, so I'd rather almost have Burglar Rat than Thoughtseize, right? So... Ah, oh, yeah. At least we got a dude out of that. No Gorios? What does that even mean? I would rather have Davriel than Burglar Rat. Well, then you're not playing Pack Rats, lady. I'll keep this hand. It's a burglar rat. I was a burglar rat once. It was a long day. What's he talking about? What a freaking weirdo. Oh, look at that. They put a prized amalgam in the graveyard. God, I'm so helpful. Grizzly Salvage. What do they get? They put... Oh, God. Wood, Woodland Cemetery. Okay. I guess we'll just get in there. I mean, Anguished on Making isn't terrible against their prized amalgam. Alan, you clearly have no respect for our discard theme that we're clearly just destroying with. No respect at all. That's what I'm saying. And that's the tooth. Now they're going to discard two cards, bring back Haunted Dead, get their prize and amalgam back. God, I'm so, it's so predictable. Oh, two, two prized amalgams. Welp. Boy, rest in peace would be great here. I 
I mean, we're gonna anguish on making one of these dudes. A burglar right. I think they played this. Why not the relentless rats clone from Dominaria? If I were the swarm, we can rat hard. We can rat harder. <laughs> always rat harder. There's always a bigger rat. Gather the pack. Gather the rat pack. Oh look, Creeping Chill. What does Creeping Chill say? Put in your graveyard from your library, you may exile it. And Gather the pack does what? Real top card, you can put a creature card. What the, is that going from the library to the graveyard? I'll just take I'll just take one here. I don't want to go to six. Oh, fatal push. Ooh, a fatal push. Do they have another haunted? Oh, God, they never don't have haunted deads in the graveyard, and we can't hit a fifth land to save our lives. Creeping chill is just ridiculous. Like they've already dealt us six damage and gained six life for literal zero cost. Let's see if there's a third crippling chill here. No, only a uh, free spell in despair, a free haunted dead. Okay. Yeah, that's good, I guess. Sure. We do need a rest in peace. I think it's a little too late for that. So it looks like we're going to be 0-3 with this deck, and I'm not sure if it's worth continuing, guys. What, if we go 1-4, does that really validate us? Or 1-3, does that really validate us? I don't think so. No blocks. I guess we're not dead yet. This guy is pretty decent in terms of, like, dudes we can play. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, I, for, I also forgot it has Aftermath. That's one of the reasons, yes, that's one of the reasons why I forgot he could cast it from the graveyard. Because, like, last time I was like, oh, I didn't know you can cast that. Well, I'm just going to discard a card. So they're just going to play that next turn. We'll double block here. We'll take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, but we'll gain six. And we will lose our hand, unfortunately. So that's cool. Thankfully, we only have one, I guess. Eight rat. <laughs> Davriel and Shrieking Affliction. Yeah, I really don't like that they use a different border. They use this as a split card border. So I actually saw this the other day and I was like, oh, this isn't a split card. It's a split card they can cast from the graveyard. Cool. Coolsville, daddy -o. Yeah, sure. They should have done that post combat because now we're going to block the prized amalgam. And they could have gotten it back, but now it's not in the graveyard, so the trigger won't. Maybe the trigger still goes. I don't think it does, though. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Discard a card. Discard a card. Discard a card. Sure, that's great. Yeah, it looks the same way, only it's turned. It's turned this way so you could see it in the graveyard. So it looks like a spell that you could cast in the graveyard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we would gain four. So, okay. I'm just going to pass the turn here and hope they don't draw anything good. They do not have another uh, driven in the graveyard. So, 
I got second in a 200 person multi format tourney. Oh man, last god, congrats, my dude. What did you win? Okay, okay. Just one. Okay. I mean, they're at 25. You just get in there with all three and put me at three. His dignity? He won that? He didn't even have it beforehand? Well, that's just sad. I feel like we're going to draw a shambling vent. I have a, I have a feeling it's either a shambling vent or something else. It's a pack rat. That's not going to do it. Okay. Okay, guys. Guys. 03 is where I draw the line for a deck in Pioneer. Unfortunately, this deck went 5-0 in a league, and I don't understand how. But maybe... Maybe it's me. Maybe I'm, I'm just playing incorrectly. Maybe I'm not playing the rat deck correctly. I don't know. Either way, I want to thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go... Leave. I don't know what I was going to say there. I have no idea what I was going to say. I think I just blanked out. Guys, check me out at CoolStuffInc.com every Wednesday. I have new articles going up every Wednesday. Like I said, it is Wednesday, my dudes. Uh, you can also check out ManaTraders.com. It's a great way to support the stream. And you get 20% off your first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below. And uh, you can also uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons or uh, shoot me a subscribe or a follow on Twitch. All of those things help. I don't know what to make of this deck. I don't know how it 5 would We couldn't even 1-2. And uh, be sure to subscribe and we'll uh, try some more pioneer things in the future. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it.